right, what's going on guys? Today, we are going to talk about the infamous CZ P01. But, I'm only at the range for a short time today. There's a lot of people out here shooting. It's finally quieted down enough for me to at least take some shots without the distraction. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do my first reaction. I'm gonna get through my couple hundred rounds of practice and testing and then I am going to go ahead and bring you guys back to the workshop and we're gonna talk about it there. So here we go, the CZ P01. Now these are not the grips that it does come with. These are lock grip grid locks. Um, I shoot for lock grips, so it was the first thing that I did when I acquired this gun was put lock grips on it. So it's easy thing for me to do. They feel amazing, even the grips that come with them are phenomenal. But again, we're gonna do some shooting here for a minute test it out and that'll take you guys back and we'll talk about it a little bit more so here you go that's some 124 grain blazers in first you know me i like to try a couple different types of ammo through the gun make sure it functions with everything now these are infamous they're known to function with pretty much anything so let's see eventually i start choosing more shitty guns so you guys don't get these similar reactions out of me but holy shit that was the flattest most consistently shooting compact firearm i have ever shot let's try the 147s the 147 super vels that we're going to give it a go with this time Didn't want to chamber it the first time, but that may have just been me. And we're going to try the double action this time too. It does come with a decocker. So we're going to use that, pop it down. I'm going to start with the 11 pound trigger pull here. That's phenomenal. Now with the heavier bullet, it did give a lot more whiplash. Um, but with the 124s, it was almost direct return every single time. I can't wait to put a dot on this gun. I am for sure going to compete in either a carry league or IDPA with this gun because this thing is uh, its almost cheating. Let's load up a couple more 124s. Let's give it a couple more rounds. Let's go ahead and try this again. And we're going to put that decocker down again because that double action was beautiful. I expected that to be so groggy so just heavy and it was not at all that was honestly i'm mind blown um especially when i first looked at this extremely curved trigger here i was very very um i guess curious to see if that was going to make me in my mind i thought it was going to make me drop that gun like no tomorrow so um let's see what happens we're going to go ahead and do this again double action pull to start because like i said it was gorgeous A couple hundred rounds of practice um, and testing is uh, not enough, so I'm definitely going to uh, probably push this to about 5,000 rounds if I can and then do a follow-up review just because I really want to. That is the CZ P01. Go ahead and take you guys back to the workshop. We're going to talk about this a little bit. We're going to go over the history of it and so on. Um, but my first initial reaction to this gun is, it is everything that everybody said it would be. Um, and honestly, even more so than that. So best compact alloy. I mean, best one of the best compact guns ever made. A lot of people would say yes. I might say yes. At this point, I'm already going with yes. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and take you guys back to the workshop and we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about this gun. Um, so see you guys in a few. So now that we are back home we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the details of the p01 here it is a short recoil aluminum frame double action pistol with a decocker hammers round like a colt commander the trigger guard is recurved sights are low pro and snag free cz 75 compact grips fit it the main difference between a cz 75 and a p01 is going to be the absence of a safety in place for a decocker. So having a decocker here, you're going to go ahead and rack or say you rack your first round. 
you can send that back to a double action pull by pushing this lever down here and it will release the hammer. Oh, like that, it'll click one, let it go. It'll drop it forward. As you can see, the trigger comes forward as well. Now the overall specs of the gun when it comes down to the CZP01 specifications from the manufacturer, the overall length is 7.2 inches, the height is 5.4 inches, the width 1.46, the weight empty is 27 ounces or 800 grams. The frame is like we said was an aluminum alloy, the arrow length is 3.6 inches and the sight radius is 5.3. It's a lot to list off. I was not going to sit here and memorize that. So I definitely also, even myself, needed to list that out. So the CZ75 is the most desired platformer to come out behind the Iron Curtain. Yeah. Jeff Cooper himself even declared it one of the best SA or the best SADA design ever made. The P01 was made for the Czech National Police, which included an extremely extensive series of tests, including, and don't expect me to have memorized this, so I'm gonna read it off over here from this other screen, but 4,000 dry fires, 3,000 decockings, 1,350 field trips, and 150 detail strips. While following that, it was dropped by a meter and a half, 54 times, and three meters, five times. No failures or discharges were recorded, and then it was required to fire without being serviced following all of that testing. So they then followed, of course, with the, um, with the stress test. So they went on to do the whole frozen for 24 hours and heated for 24 hours, not to mention, again, all the torture testing, like being submerged in water, mud, sand, and so on. And it was named the most reliable and accurate pistol that the CZ company had ever made. Um, that goes without saying when i had felt earlier that this was one of the best firearms i had ever fired as far as compacts go out of the box now i did change some grips on it but it wasn't the deal breaker here um even the stock grips that do come with it are phenomenal um and they're a nice rubber really nice swell um they fit really nicely in your hand i had no quarrel with them at all except for i could get something that I preferred, that I felt was a little bit better for me. So, um, those are just some fun facts about the gun. Again, I think everybody, it lived up to everything that everybody said it would, and it has definitely lived up to the name of being one of the best compact firearms to ever hit the market. So, thank you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and get back with me with what you'd like to hear, what you didn't like to hear, um, and so on. So hit me with what you got. I'll see you guys later.